everybody, new video from Big Apple Pipes. This week I want to talk about pipes, which is something that I've been doing quite regularly on my Italian channel, but I've never done it in my international channel. I've only talked about tobaccos, but I think it may be interesting to start talking about pipes as well. And the pipe I wanted to review is the Elfen Basic or better, I want to talk about the basic and all the others. Because this pipe, this very little pipe, has been a very interesting um, event, happening case uh, of the past few years in, in the pipe uh, world. Um, because it was first invented, I believe, in 2016 or 17 by Eltang Be, by, by Tom Eltang. Uh, it was actually called the, the Sailor. It was not even marked as Eltang. Um, and the idea was very smart. Um, Eltang decided to, how can I say, recover uh, the unused briar that he had in his own workshop. Because, I mean, any high grade by Megger discard a lot of briar to find that perfect pipe that also justifies, at least partially, uh, the price tag. Um, so I had this huge amount of, of, of briar that was, of course, top quality briar because he only uses a very uh, high-end briar as well. Um, so he had this idea of using it. And since maybe you don't have enough briar to create an entire pipe, but maybe you have just enough to create a small bowl. So he, he created something that was uh, recalling the look and the design of Popeye uh, pipe that you could see on the cartoons. And if you remember, the very first sailor was even smaller than this one and it didn't even have a stem. So it was just a pipe with a carbon fiber shank that you can put in your mouth. And the price tag was very, very uh, attractive because it was about 50 or $60. So very, very inexpensive, uh, just focused around the smoking experience. And I think it was a huge hit because shortly after he kept evolving this concept and he brought the, I think it was the sailor big or something like that. So it was a little bit bigger, very similar to the basic with finally with a stem. The price tag was a little bit higher, but still uh, I, I think it was around $100, something like that. And I think again, this was hugely successful and in turn it, it evolved again into what we have today, which is the Eltang basic. So at the end of the day, this pipe uh, also um, was able to feature uh, such a prestigious name, which is now Eltang. So you can get a Eltang pipe for $150, which is the price of the Eltang basic, which is not uh, something to be overlooked uh, if you think about it. Um, and therefore, the, the concept is very, is very interesting. Having the smoking experience uh, of a very high end pipe on a smaller and very practical pipe at a fraction of the price. Um, so the idea of a premium, inexpensive pipe can be very attractive. Um, I think that the concept behind this L-Tank Basic is actually um, not new by itself, because in the past century, we have seen many examples of a very similar approach, meaning using a briar bowl uh, attached to uh, a stem, which is made of a totally different material, uh, also trying to bring a different smoking experience by cooling down the smoke, or collecting moisture, all these things like we see in the Falcon. Um, but I think that the fact that this time was made by a high-end pipe maker um, really changed the rules of the game uh, to the point that now we see on the market several of these pipes by other brands. So once again, Eltang invented something because if you think about it just a few years, I mean, Tom Eltang is very well known to be a very creative pipe maker, not just for the shapes, but also for the wall idea of pipe. Just a few years ago, together with Rolando Negoita, he invented the reverse calabash, which became now a super popular pipe made by so many brands and pipe makers. Um, he invented finishes like the golden contrast and so on. So he is, once again, trying to bring something new into the pipe. Um, therefore, what I want to do with this pipe is, of course, have a look at the Falcon, just as an example of something similar, but made in a different era, because the Falcon was invented in the 30s and became hugely popular after Second World War II, to the point that it's still on the market with a huge fan base, proving that these kind of pipes have a place. Um, and I also want to have a look about the direct competitors, because after this, we have seen... Um, 
pipes which are very similar let's say that if you put next to each other all of those they look look quite semi identical such as the nordin compass and the job pipe by the italian tobacco Mr. Um, so it's very i think it will be very interesting to see all of them next to each other in details how those pipes are built just to see what is the difference and this is because very often you see in social media people asking for feedback, asking for opinion on what is the difference, because again, this, yes, can be an inexpensive pipe because it costs $150, but the Northern Compass costs $50. So what is the, is this price difference justified and what is the difference? So we will try to, to see uh, all of this and I will tell you about my experience with those pipes that I have had now for a little time and I have smoked all of them. So I will tell you what is my feedback. Um, and that's pretty much it. Again, I don't think the idea by itself is new because you see many pipes uh, similar to this one. You see the Tsuge, that also is with a briar ball and an aluminum stem. You have the Ronson, you had Falcon, and you had so many others in the past century, and then they were not successful um, and they just disappeared. But I think now it's time to move forward. Let's have a look about all these pipes. Um, and let's see, I may not have a very nice experience with this l time, but I will also try to explain you why. And I re I'm really curious to hear from you. If you have one, what is your experience? Because I am a bit confused, but let's see why. So I want to start briefly with the Shorty by Nording. I actually made a video about this on my Italian channel and it actually was one of the most viewed videos of all time. And this is actually a proof, if we need it, an evidence that those weird looking pipes are very attractive. Um, same thing here about the Elton Basic and whatever. We have a, a shank that is made of something else. It is made of plastic. And then we have here uh, the bowl, the bottom of the bowl that should collect all the, uh, you know, the, the, the water drops and the condensation and, and everything, the moisture. And then we have a bowl that is made out of porcelain or ceramic, something like that. So, you know, a lot of attention, a lot of focus on the bowl and everything else. It must, it's just to look for a solution for moisture and uh, whatever. I don't think it's very effective though. Let's go to the Falcon. Falcon, and I will treat them right away because those are the historical ones. They have been uh, on the market for almost a century. They were invented in 1936, if I'm not wrong. And they were they became super popular after Second World War II in the 60s and so on. And those are actually examples from the 60s, as you can tell from the colors. Nowadays, they're only chrome and I think black. And also the balls are not any more lacquered like in this case. Now they are just natural, briar or rustic. Um, those are from the 60s, but I love them for this attractive uh, color, very odd. Um, we have here, the ball is made of briar and you can just unscrew it. The funny thing is that you can just interchange it with something different and change the look of your pipe. And then we have an aluminum shank that it's supposed to cool down the smoke a little bit and collect the moisture at the bottom of the bowl. So when you finish smoking it, you have to wipe it out with some tissue um, or put a filter on it, but I don't like filters. And especially in this case, they really change the way um, the, the, the pipe smokes. So I don't think it's very effective. The good thing about Falcon is that they're still very, very popular pipes. Um, and therefore you can find also bowl made out of Mersham, made by Turkish artisans or Morta, whatever. So it's nice that you still have have this attention uh, just because those are super popular pipes so and now let's move forward to the real topic of this video which is the l tank basic i received it a couple of weeks ago as you can see it comes with this um, it's polyester but it's really silky so it's very high-end kind of sock and when you take it out it's just simply as this one i choose the rustic version because i think it's really the most uh, distinctive one from Tang because it's the only one making this kind of rustication um, you can find i mean they're also available in sandblast and smooth version but at, the, the, but at that point they're very similar to the other ones this is just the most distinctive one and you have it in several colors you have natural black you have green blue and this red which i think is very attractive the markings are laser printed so very 
high technology, let's say, and we have a briar bowl and this fiber, carbon fiber shank with a hand cut stem. Uh, the odd thing, the odd thing about this pipe is the way it's constructed, the way it's built, I believe, because the shank is glued into the bowl, so you cannot remove it, which I don't think it's a very smart move, because, I mean, it, it, it's not possible to just, you know, have a very compact pipe, it's always like this, and I really don't understand why you want to remove the stem. Uh, it doesn't make any sense, it's not helping you clean the pipe or whatever, so uh, it's really not very practical. Second thing, many people say that the carbon fiber is not very healthy to be used in a pipe because if it's heated it can you know develop some um, toxic substances i really don't know i tried to find some publications on it and i couldn't find any so i really don't know if it makes sense to believe it or not however i'm really not happy about this pipe i'm really not satisfied at all first of all it's a very expensive pipe because this is about 150 bucks which is not expensive per se, but the others that we see, they cost half as much or less. So this means that this is anyway an Elton pipe because it's a premium pipe in its own niche. So it is an expensive pipe for the kind of pipe we're talking about. So I expected some very premium and high level kind of finishing, which is not there. First of all, as you can see, I told you the stem, it's uh, very, very narrow. So it's not very comfortable and actually it's not even very well made because as you can see if you can tell uh, you see one angle it's too smooth it was smoothed out probably when they just were you know they were uh, polishing it but anyway it's not that kind of details that kind of finishing that i expect uh, from a pipe that it's stamped l tongue and cost twice as much all the others second thing that is very it's, it's a big trouble is the fact that the bowl is pre-carbonized which can be fine i usually remove the pre-carbonization but in this case <coughs> elton used a flavored pre-carbonization so when i opened the the box i was like overwhelmed by this very sweet uh, flavor and i couldn't understand why and then i smoked the pipe and it, you can just taste this sweet taste you cannot taste the tobacco at all i reached out to a few people that they have the basic and they're happy with it they told me that it's normal it's supposed to go away in a few smoke, in a handful of smoke, so it's just the, 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 the pre-treating, which can be okay. But I've been smoking this for like several days in the past weeks. I, I made about 15 to 20 smokes in this pipe, and still now I cannot taste the tobacco. I can only taste this flavor, strawberry taste, which is awful, and again, it's not acceptable from a pipe of this grade and of this price. Probably, I'm very unlucky, this is just a very unlucky and flawed piece, probably it's not happening on all the others, because I see that everybody's very happy about this pipe, but this is my experience, so I am a very unlucky owner. Let's go to the Italian answer to the Gio, to the Elton Basic, which is the Joe Pipe made by Sant'Ambrogio in collaboration to, with the tobacconist in uh, Rimini, the Tabacchiria del Corso. And actually it's pretty much, uh, let's say a copycat of the basic, because it's really the similar look, carbon fiber shank. And actually also here you have the uh, arm of uh, Popeye, which if you remember in the very first version of the Elta basic, where they were still called Sailor, you had the face of Popeye. So the, 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 the quote, the citation is pretty obvious. However, I think this is a very smart little pipe. This one is for cigar, but there's also the version for pipe and it costs about 50 bucks. And I think the pipe version is a bit more expensive, it's about 80, which is almost half the price of the basic. Uh, however, this you see, you can just remove the shank, but you cannot remove the stem. And I think it's a very smart move because look, it's super compact. And look at this stem, which first of all, it's colorful, which is great because, you know, you can just customize your pipe as much as you want. And it's very, very well made. Look, the shape is just perfect. The, the tooth is just perfect. And look at it in comparison to the Elton Basic, how big it is. It's very large and this makes it super comfortable. This pipe is light by itself, but thanks to this nice stem, which is very well 
you see proportion, it's not huge, it's just well proportioned for the pipe, it's just perfect. It's just the Elton one that it's too, too narrow, too small. So it's just beautiful. And then the fact that it comes with this pouch, which you can just use it as a pipe pouch, you see, it's very comfortable, very convenient, made of fake leather. And look, inside you have space for everything else. As I said, this is a pipe for cigar. You can just disassemble it, put it inside, put the shank, and then you put your lighter, you put your pipe cleaner, and the half cigar. You just close it, and you put it in your pocket, and you're good to go. And I think this is really a wonderful, very practical idea. So very well made. Then Stefano Santambergio is one of the historical brands in Italy. So the quality is definitely there. And, I mean, it's almost half the price of the basic. Then we have the Northern Compass with this velvety sock. And I actually, I must say, this is my favorite among the three, uh, just because it's very well built. Meaning that, look at it. First of all, it's okay, it's smooth. It's, I mean, kind of contrast, but in reality, you see, it, there are, those are fills. So the, the briar quality is not super high end, but this is a $50 pipe, so it's fine. Um, it's pre carbonized, but it's a very well made pre carbonization. I have made like five or six smoke on this pipe, and they were all great. Perfect. I mean, the, the, the taste of the tobacco was just perfect. And then I really like the choice of using not carbon fiber, but, but darkened aluminum. Look how good it looks. When you see the, 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 the job pipe or the Elton Basic, this shank really looks cheap. Very, very much. Looks cheap. Definitely cheap. This one looks very high end. So even if this is the cheapest pipe among the three, it's really the best looking one. It, it's very, the, the, the perceived quality is very, very high. The only problem here is the stem, which as you can see is just nylon, and you can tell it's very poorly finished. You still see the, it's just printed nylon. So it's very soft, not very comfortable, but definitely more comfortable compared to the Elton Basic because look how large the stem is. So very comfortable and Third thing I like a lot about this pipe is that it's completely disassembled. You see, you can just disassemble it completely. You can just put it in your pocket. So that's very, very convenient. And again, have a look about this shank because it's just gorgeous, very well finished, very well made. If the Elton or the Job pipe had this, they would be much, much better. So great idea, just 50 bucks, and it smokes wonderfully. Again, if this one only had a better stem, it would be perfect. So that's it. Let me know in the comment what you think. If you have an Elton Basic, what is your experience? If you, if you also have the same experience as I have, like this very sweet taste that covers the tobacco, or if I am just unlucky, just let me know. Yeah, so this one is, you see, those are all uh marked at the bottom so here we are at the end of this video i showed you the pipes i told you what i like and what i don't like and I also showed you what are the difference among those pipes that very often at least with the basic the job pipe and the nording they look very close to each other very similar they almost uh, seem like the same pipe but as I showed you, they are pretty different in the way they are designed and built. Uh, what else can I say? Um, again, my message here, it's pretty clear. I don't think there is anything groundbreaking about this pipe. It's just the same approach of trying to have something new, propose something new, offer something new to the customer. And I also think that this is a way to keep this world, the pipe world alive with just new products that can be basically the same thing, but just showed in a different way, which can be fun. Um, these are funny little pipes, especially the Nording and the Job Pipe, because I, as I mentioned, I had I am having a very bad experience with the Elton Basic, and also it's pretty expensive. But if you think about a $50 pipe like it is Nording, or something a little bit more expensive like the Job Pipe, um, those are pipes that are at a general level uh, much better than similar price pipes. Sometimes low-end pipes are very bad in terms of, you know, the stem, the way the, the, the way the pipe is comfortable, and also sometimes in the briar quality. In those cases, there are both very fun pipes to smoke at a very nice price. And also the fact that they can be dismounted, it's very comfortable to keep them with you wherever you want to go, fishing, hiking, whatever. So what can I say? I like them overall. Uh, I wish I was luckier with the Elstang Basic, but you know, as we say, you know, crap happened. 
Anyway, just let me know what is your thought, what is your feedback, if you have any of those, and what is your experience. Anything else? I'll see you next time.